Okay, so for the second video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a square-based triangular pyramid. A square-based triangular pyramid. Now again, move down from the top of the sheet, move down 140 millimeters to the XY line. Okay, that's the ground line, the XY line. And move in from the left-hand side of the sheet, 150 millimeters to the bottom left-hand corner of the triangular pyramid base and the width of the square base pyramid is 60 millimeters 60 millimeters is the width so that's down 140 to the XY line in 150 to the bottom left hand corner of the square based uh, triangular pyramid and it is 60 millimeters the length of the base okay then for the plan you simply drop down 20 millimeters to the top of the plan and what I'm going to do then is draw in the 60 millimeters uh, by way of the measurement on the side of the plan okay so 60 millimeters side of the plan now the height of the pyramid is going to be 90 millimeters so I'm going to just get the center point here so the width of one side is 60 the center of that is 30 millimeters mark 30 millimeters and then I draw a height line so the height of the pyramid is 90 millimeters mark 90 millimeters in that center and I draw in from the bottom of the corner right, bottom of one side of the base to the top of the pyramid so I have the two sides of elevation okay and I have the plan drawn in now what I'm missing on the plan is the diagonal so the diagonal if it's a square base it should be 45 degrees but it's just diagonal diagonal measurement so it's 45 degrees every square diagonal on a square is 45 degrees so I simply draw that cross as a diagonal and likewise the other side a diagonal. Now, the end view again, all that I'm simply going to do is looking in from the left hand side, my end view is going to be on the right hand side. Looking in from the right hand side, my end view is going to be on the left hand side. So I'm simply going to just use the width from plan and bring those points up, the width point at 45 degrees. There, like so, and likewise on the other side, 45 degrees up, one, and then on the bottom one of that, 45 degrees. Now, what I have here is the width on the left hand side and the width on the right hand side for my two end views. Now just to get the center point then where the center point is on the plan I simply bring that across okay I establish a point here and here and I bring them up at 45 degrees Those two center points there, I just bring up vertically on the elevation. One, two, and then I bring the height of the pyramid out to both. And again, I draw in the corner of the pyramid, the bottom corner, of the base to the top of the pyramid like so so I have my elevation 
my plan, my end view looking in from the left hand side and my end view here looking in from the right hand side. Now I'm just going to go ahead and ink those uh, views in. Okay. So what you have here is your elevation. You have your side view. or end view, okay, looking in from the left hand side. And this is your, again, side view, end view. Looking in from the right hand side. And then this is your plan. Okay. So what we're going to do, we are going to impose a cut on this square base pyramid. So I'm going to come up, uh, say, 25 millimeters, 25 millimeters from the ground line as a vertical height, 25 millimeters. I'm just going to bring that across here, like so. And I'm going to cut that at 45 degrees. So that's the cut at 45 degrees. Now, looking in this way, okay, I'm going to see that point on the cut here. And I'm going to see this point on the cut here. Now, looking in this way, this is going to be a broken line over here. Or actually, sorry, it's, not, it's going to be a hard line here, apologies. That's going to be a hard line there, and it's going to be a broken line here. Okay, so looking down on plan then. Okay, those same points on plan. points down now what you see here you've got these sides here which are your diagonals okay so this elevation this front side here this triangle here is your elevation this triangle here is this side view here on the left hand side the, the left hand side one it's on the right hand side but looking in from the left this triangle here on plan is this one here right so you're looking in this way at it okay so this point here on the cut and this point here are brought down to these diagonal points okay now where they intersect with those diagonal points what I simply do is I connect point to point so from here to here from here to here now that's the imposition of the cut now I'm going to put all those in uh, red for clarity sake okay so on this side here I'll put in the cut first of all in red on the elevation so 45 degrees up 25 millimeters 45 degrees then looking in from the left hand side the end view is on the right hand side so I'm going to see this point here and this point here as hard lines on this side here I'm looking in this way so I'm going to see this top point as a hard line and I'm going to see this bottom point here as a broken line what is there that you cannot see, you just put in as a broken line. Now, these points then, obviously are brought down. I'm just gonna indicate this with a green 
point, green in the pen here. Okay. Okay, like so. And then I show the imposition of that cut on the plan. So I have this point, this point. This point here, here. Point here to here. Okay, now I'm going to shade in uh, that surface area by way of what you can see of the cut. So I'm going to see again on plan here, I'm going to shade in the cut surface with brown, a brown coloring pencil. And I'm going to shade in this side view because that's what you see. You see the cut surface here on this side view. Now, so we have the elevation, the plan, side view on the right hand side that shows the, the uh, square base pyramid looking in from the left hand side the side view on the left hand side shows you what it looks like looking in from the right hand side okay so uh, the cut is that up, up 25 millimeters vertical height and it's cut at 45 degrees those two points here i bring across to the end view here and i get these two points here and likewise on the other side same here but i don't see this line here when i'm looking in this way it says a broken line and the same points then down on plan and i connect the points where they hit the diagonals okay i get my shape imposed on the plan now that cut surface that is shown here on the plan and on this side view here that is not a true shape of the cut surface so again to show how like how you establish uh, the true shape of the cut surface. You again use the swivel point. So remember, in the previous drawing, we used this point here as a swivel point. We're going to do the same again, okay? We're going to use a swivel point. So again, I'll get the compass, and using this point as a swivel point, and the length of the cut. Now you've got to remember, this length here, okay, is a true length of this line here, from this point here to this point here. So that blue line here, the distance from here to here, that is not a true length line from here to here. But as a true length line, that is the true length. This line here is a true length of this blue line here. Okay, and that's what we're going to establish now. Okay, so I'm going to get this point here. Okay, and I'm going to swivel this around. Now again, for clarity's sake, what I'm going to do is I am going to show that as uh, an inked line, the company, and that's brought out onto the horizontal here. So I'm just going to indicate that in blue rather than red here. Okay, now I'm going to bring that point down. So I'm going to use a red line, red ink line to bring that point down. And again, these points here, 
Okay, so this point here is going to be a swivel point. So that's going to remain there. That's going to remain there because that's your swivel point. Okay, so that line is going to be pulled around. But these two points here, this point here, that point, and this point. Okay, gives me this point here and this point here. Now, if I bring that across now, and I'm going to use, again, blue ink, but I'm just going to put it in as a hard line. Okay, so from that point there to that point there, this point here to this point here. this point here reinforce that line now this is your true shape of this cut surface okay what I've simply done I've used that as a civil point I've pulled it around onto the horizontal brought that point down now remember this point here correlates with these points here okay so when I pull that around onto the horizontal then bring it down I bring both of those points out to meet that line that gives me this point here and this point here I simply then bring them back to the swivel point here and here and this then gives me the true shape true shape of cut surface. Okay, I hope you found that useful.